Hello, David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. You've probably seen one of our videos about this particular box that came from Tom Ford, filled chock full of No Time to Die sartorial goodies. We talked about the Prince of Wales check blue suit that Bond wears in some of the scenes that we've seen. Today, we are diving into James Bond's Tom Ford tuxedo. Check this out. I wish there was more of a badass way for me to walk on than that. I know I could have maybe done that whole thing when Bond comes out of the, the club and does that thing with the gun, but I got nothing. No, no. I, and I'm a little overwhelmed because I'm wearing the tux now from No Time to Die, so I'm pretty chuffed, pretty excited. First, before we start to take things apart, let's look at some of the details. Let's face it. Tom Ford did what Tom Ford does so well. They made an incredible tuxedo or dinner suit for Daniel Craig's James Bond. This is the Atticus. It is black. And the Atticus model single button dinner suit, a lot of people have been saying, oh, it's, it's a dark navy, it's a midnight blue. No, folks, it is black. In fact, it's the first black tuxedo or dinner suit that Craig has worn since Quantum of Solace. And by the way, it has some of the Quantum of Solace aspects. It has that straight buttonhole like Craig's dinner suit from Quantum of Solace. But in this case, if you could take a look right there, the buttonhole angles towards the shoulder. That's a nifty little difference. The other thing is we've got to take a look at this white shirt. Now I'm going to get up close and personal so you can really see the details of this white pick cotton front. There's other areas of pick cotton in this, but it does have the point color. And if we come down to here, you can see that it has the Dr. No cocktail cuffs. It's a plain French front with mother of pearl buttons. I'm wearing the mother of pearl buttons, but right now on this form, this is how the shirt comes with these holding studs to hold it all into place. The bat wing or slim bat wing bow tie, this is not the one seen in the movie. It's just one that we're using right now in the meantime for this video, but he also should be wearing a folded white pocket square which he's not because <laughs> this is sewn shut, but he would also have some of the other aspects. There's some very non-traditional elements here as well, like the pick stitched shawl collar that you can see if I run straight down here. You've also got the jetted pockets. You've got this very, very identifiable when you watch the trailer and look at the poster, this type of gauntlet. It's a turned back cuff and also covered buttons if there were buttons on there. When we take a look at the back of it, it does have a single vent. On the inside itself, we have the cummerbund, beautiful, beautiful silk cummerbund, and it should always have the little folds facing up. But what I really thought was fascinating was look at this. Look at the look at the buttons on the back. I've never seen that. I've seen clasps before. I've seen all types of attachments, but buttons, I don't know. It's so cool. It's so Tom Ford difference and it gives it a very refined look. So I have to show you something I discovered while putting on this tuxedo. I've, I'm putting in the uh, pearl studs, but down here below, and there's no subtle way to show you this, there's this this tab, which actually goes into this hole right here. I want to show you what this does. So if I pull it through, it actually cinches. Let's see if we can pan down a little bit. It actually cinches that area and really holds it firmly into place. I really like that particular detail. I've never seen that on a tuxedo shirt. And before we put on the cummerbund, I do want to show the waistline here. You've got these pull tabs on the side, which are great. Um, I actually have room in the waist, shocking, uh, after being in lockdown. But take a look at this, this, this beautiful satin waistband really stands out. Now I'm going to have a cummerbund over that, but I'm really liking the details of this and also around the pockets themselves. Just absolutely love that. And you'll have to forgive the fact that this uh, shirt is not exactly ironed. I'm sure I'm going to get comments on that. 
All right, so now that we've got some of the details out of the way, I, I've got to talk about the mindset. First of all, in trying this tuxedo on, this is a little bit of a fantasy because, I mean, we saw this in that poster. We've got to harken back. The first time, one of the first times we saw this tuxedo was when that first poster released. And uh, look, I've got to be frank with you. I had very mixed feelings about that poster. It's not that I dislike that he was wearing a tuxedo. Quite frankly, I just didn't think it was a great Daniel Craig pose. I didn't think it was kind of a badass pose. It looked like they had kind of surprised him. And on top of that, the No Time to Die logo, the words, the content itself was covering this amazing Tom Ford tuxedo. Don't do that. Don't do that. Well, then, then on top of that, we got to see this tuxedo in all its glory. And a lot of still pictures, what was going on? Was he in a club? Was it Jamaica? Was it someplace else? And then as we started to pick up the broken crockery, so to speak, and put the pieces together, we realized that he was in some sort of a Cuban club or a gathering maybe of specter agents. We saw the trailer and the tra trailer really showed this tuxedo in all its glory. It was amazing to see it like that, of course, because you saw Bond looking very concerned. You see a little bit of Paloma action. You see Bond running out of the club. You see this mist falling. What's going on with the Spectre agents? Are they being killed? Who's killing them off? We don't know because we don't know the plot point, but the tuxedo really started to come together. And folks, come here for a second. I want to tell you a not so secret secret. When it comes to James Bond's sartorial fashion style clothing, however you want to say it, the lifestyle, nothing says James Bond like a tuxedo. It's true. It has to be true or dinner suit, as a lot of people call it, because no matter who you are, as much as you don't want to say that you emulate James Bond, if you dressed in a tuxedo, whether it was a prom or a bar mitzvah or a wedding, it doesn't matter, a word show. When you put on that tuxedo and you come in close to the mirror and you straighten out that tie, you are humming, you're singing the James Bond tune. So let's talk about this Atticus model. Now, I did show you the details here, but now you can see the undercarriage. Undercarriage, is that a thing, David? I, th I think that's an anatomical thing. The undercarriage of this gauntlet sleeve stops at some point, so you have the natural, but here you've got the satin. This would be satin buttons if this was all done. And obviously, I would have a pocket handkerchief in the bouchetta, bouchetta? It's the cut of the pocket, but that is happily sewn shut as is this. So we've got to make do with it right now. All right, let's talk about the feel and the function. This is what we do. We test these things out and that's what we're doing. This has an incredible amount of movement. It's, it's, it's an interesting process that's going on right now because I love my Tom Ford Skyfall tuxedo, the midnight blue one, much replicated, but there's nothing like it. And you've seen the journey, the story when I lost it and then found it back again. It's, it's, it's not just a part of my collection. It's kind of a part of my go-to. When I have a black tie event, I go to that suit. But now there's some tough things going through my head now that I'm wearing this. And by the way, let's, let's peel back a little bit. Let's come back a little bit so you can see the silhouette. I'll walk a little bit. Now the pants are not hemmed. I would definitely take them in a little bit. There's a little extra fabric, but this is a 40, let me get this right, a 50 European size or 40 US jacket in a regular. Now I am a short, stop it, David. Yes, you are, you're short. It, you're, you're not short for your size, but I'm five foot nine, okay? Across here, I'm a 40 inch chest, 31 inch waist. The waist in this fits perfectly. I've, I've worn Tom Ford suits where you see a little bit of a pucker. This fits perfectly. The sleeves fit perfectly. I, I, I swear they did no tailoring. So this is, is it destiny? Is it kismet? You'll have to decide. My wallet will have to decide. But the jacket's a little long and that is because it's a regular. Um, I would want it just a tad bit shorter. And whenever you, there's problems. If I was to take this regular and supposed to a short and I took the bottom up, if I took this kind of lower part up a little bit, it could mess with the proportions. It could mess with the pockets. 
it could mess with a lot of different things. It's a big no-no, and the, the good people at Tom Ford have always told me, number one, do bespoke, um, or made to measure. Uh, but in this particular case, I've got a situation where I don't think I would do the 40 regular. I'd probably want to try on a 40 short. But other than that, let's check out the back, because I'm telling you folks, this thing fits really well. All right, here's the back. Try not to do too many movements. Um, by the way, no ironing, no pressing. This is a loner suit, so I didn't want to do anything to compromise the fabric or the suit. I didn't want to take the chance until I realized, you know, okay, this is for me. But ah, it's all black. And there's something so traditional about that. Quantum of Solace, like I said, saw that all black suit with the shawl collar. It has a lot of similarities to it. To me, this actually fits better than the Quantum of Solace suits in a lot of cases. It's, it's, it's definitely more forgiving. But one of the things that I'm noticing is I got a hankering for this. Like, it, if we have a premiere for No Time to Die in November, David, did you say if? What's wrong with you? I, I mean, when, when we have a premiere for No Time to Die in November, would I want to wear this suit? going down any kind of red carpet, or even if I don't get on the red carpet, there'll be other quasi premieres. Um, I kind of think I would. I mean, it's kind of special to wear the No Time to Die tuxedo. It's great. And by the way, I've got to come in for a second here. The cummerbund fits great. I showed you the, by the way, I would definitely have these pants tightened a little bit. I'm happy to say what's going on there. Hashtag Bond 25 Fitness Challenge. But um, the cummerbund fits fantastic. I do love that button aspect, and that was that was definitely a, a treat. Now, there are some things to make this even more accurate. Obviously, getting the right shoes, getting the pocket handkerchief, getting the right bow tie, which isn't totally dissimilar to this bow tie, but it's different enough that you'd want to get all the things. Plus, you would definitely want the right watch, the right Omega watch, which could happen, could happen in a different thing. So there is a potential to get this complete outfit. And it looks like Bond connects to this in No Time to Die in a totally badass scene from the movie. And that's the other thing that connects with me is that I like to gravitate to some of these pieces that really have a very nostalgic but impactful moment within the films. I have a feeling this tuxedo is going to be a classic Bond moment with a lot of introspection, then a little bit of an aha, a ton of action, and then explosiveness. But we won't know until we know. Anyway, I just wanted to give this a quick run through. Uh, again, great action, great feel, looks amazing. The fit is crazy, a little bit shorter, but Atticus model, Tom Ford, no time to die tuxedo. I'm so glad that Tom Ford sent it in a box to me. And again, thank you to them for doing that because during this lockdown, this would have been the only way for me to try this on. Now I've got to give it some thought, right? As we all do. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. This has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience, and we will see you very soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.